I've been meaning to do this video, just an explanation of how I moved around my prayer journal and how I am setting up my prayer journal now. So a couple things first, if you have purchased my prayer journal, my digital prayer journal, and you would like to do this when you're done watching the video, just email me um, your name or your order number and I can send you a link to the updated version. If you have not purchased my prayer journal and you want to, when you do purchase it, um, you will get access to how it looks like this and how it looked previously. Um, so the new listing gives you both. Um, you don't have to buy one or the other. You can just have both, which really lets you customize it. So you could, you know, use the four dividers in this one and use a few dividers from the other one and kind of just customize a whole journal for yourself. And then if you are, if you did purchase it and you're a member of the studio, you pretty much do have everything. Um, it just might be within different months. So if, again, if you do want it, then again, just email me. But let me kind of show you how it works. So previously, if you have had my prayer journal, I had a prayer section and the way it looked was basically like this. So I had the month, my family prayers, friends, church, the world, and then here I always did my kids. And then I usually did my husband, our marriage, I usually did home. Um, and I would usually come up with a few other things to pray for. And that's basically how I did my prayer journal. And then I had the war room section, which had um, different sections that would be like my heart and um, my family. But these were more biblically based prayers, meaning like as I was reading my Bible, if I found a prayer or like a verse, I would put it in that section or I even had sections like anxiety. So these are all based off Bible verses. And so I'd write them in here. And then if I'm ever feeling anxious, I can come here and there's like a, you know, some verses to pray or some prayers to pray. So there's the war room section and then there's the gratitude section and then the declare truth section. So I'm going to go through this new journal. And then a couple things I want to say is the Declare truth section I now have in a um, separate binder. So I'll just show you real fast. But if you've purchased my, um, these dividers that the Matthew Mark, you know, that have all this stuff, it's in that. So I still use it. I just use it in my Bible rather than my prayer journal. And then the gratitude section is just in my other journal. I did actually have it, just kidding, it's in here. So I do have it in here. So in this journal, rather than having four, I actually have five. So I took that from the other journal and put it in here. Okay, so let me show you. So month is first. Um, and first what I want to say, the way this one is different is rather than this prayer journal, which was really based off of the month, right? I was really, um, every month I would come here, I would prep it and I would pray, how can I pray for my family this month? How can I pray for my husband this month? This new journal or this new way of doing it is really based more <laughs> off the war room section. And it's really more about having different sections in my prayer journal and then within that section having war room prayers as well as um as well as like the monthly prayers so this first section is just for habits and the calendar that's basically it i can write down important dates um for people i want to pray for um like if someone has an appointment or my parents were out of town and they were visiting family um my son had a birthday i can pray for him so that's really all that's in this section is just um, calendars for monthly stuff. And then the war room section. So this is where like everything is. So I have my heart and the way I've set it up is it will say war room prayers for my heart. And this page is included in the, in the um, listing. Um, and I have just a few of these pages. And then this is like something from the studio. But um, the way I do it is I put a sticker that says October, or you could just write out October. You could use a stamp, like whatever you want. Um, but I write October and I start writing my prayers. And then when the next month, I'll put a new sticker and write out my prayers. So these are my monthly prayers for my heart. But then I can go here, and this is a prayer for my heart about idleness. This was actually a quote from a book, so I wrote the whole quote. And then I've got this prayer here. So essentially, if I'm like, okay, I'm ready to pray for my heart, I can come to this section and I can pray for monthly prayers, but I can also turn and be like, oh, I know I've written a prayer on idleness, or maybe I've written a prayer on gossip, or I've written a prayer on 
um, holiness or whatever, things that are related to my heart. Those will be here that are more Bible-based, those big overarching prayers. But then I can come here and write those monthly practical prayers, if that makes sense. So then we've got God's Word, same concept, marriage, same thing. I have a page and I have an October, so I'm praying October. And then I have this page, which has just, here's a quote. Um, here's just a, like a prayer that I always pray for my marriage. So it might not be like specific things like, okay, this month I pray we can have good communication in regards to something we're dealing with with one of our kids or something, right? That would be on the monthly page. But these prayers like... Um, let my husband trust in me. Um, let me do him good and not harm. And that's from Proverbs 31. And then serving our spouses in love also means being committed to responding to them in ways that are kind to do only what is good. So I basically have everything behind one divider. And then in this section, I also have the prayers for my marriage. So I really like this just because when I was doing this way, I would, you know, if I had my, let's see like my prayers for my kids. And then I had some war room prayers. I was constantly flipping back and forth, right? So this way it just allows me to kind of do it all at once. If I'm praying for my marriage, I can just come here and I've got everything I need. And maybe even if I like took a sermon, I watched a sermon on marriage, I could even keep that in here. So I'd really just like have this collection of stuff to pray through. And maybe if I'm like, you know what, I'm not sure what I want to pray for for October yet, then I can come to this page and pray some more room prayers. I can come to the calendar and pray some prayers. So it's kind of just categories, categorizing my prayer journal more by category rather than by month, if that makes sense. So same thing for my husband. I just covered up. I think I covered up some. <laughs> um, so October, and then these are the war room prayers, and then that's it. And then for children, war room prayers are here. So this is prayers for all my kids together. And then what I love about this also is if you do laminate these, then it's, it serves as a dashboard. So I have pictures of my kids here. For um, my husband, I have pictures of him. For our marriage, I have pictures of us. So I can kind of just keep pictures. And as I'm praying, I've got like little pictures there. And then what I did is I used these um, rainbow pages. And I put the month and I write prayers for Gemma. And then I've got Mikey. And I've got Selah. So um, next month I'll put November. And you know, I don't even put a sticker there yet. So if I had a lot for October, I can just come keep on going here and then I can start November here. So it's pretty flexible. But I have all their prayers. And the other cool thing is, is you can look back. And so, you know, if this, this will last six months, this page. And so I can be over here and I can be like, what were I praying for over there? And I can easily see answered prayers. I can add stickers to answered prayers um, for Mikey, for Gemma, for Sayla, rather than having to go back to previous months. And then we've got another calendar. And then we've got the home. And for the home, I just do war room prayers. I'm not even doing like monthly stuff. I just kind of add it here. And that's what's nice. You can kind of do it however you want. Motherhood, same concept. Um, family for family. Let's see. Um, I'm going to show you kind of like a blank page. But for family, I'm using the rainbows. And this comes like this. So it will say family. And you can um, put people's names. So I stamped people's names. But I liked it like this for family because I don't, I'm finding that I don't um, pray new, a ton of new prayers for my family. Like a lot of times I feel like it's the same stuff. Like I'm praying, you know, um, for their relationship with God and I'm praying for their work and I might be praying for their kids. But it's not like it's a ton of new stuff every month, especially if I don't see them every single month. Um, so I've kind of liked this where I can just kind of write their prayers and then just come back here and then pray over them. And then obviously if I need a new page for them, I can create a new page and do their name again. And then we've got friends. So same concept. It just says war room prayers for friends. And I just wrote the person's name. And so she is going to get a whole page to herself. This friend gets a whole page to herself and I can just continue writing prayers and then, you know, seeing if things were answered, um, writing notes, stuff like that. And then we've got church. Oh, I also have this prayer request page behind friends. And this is more for just people that maybe I don't have a whole page. I don't need a whole like front and back page. This is maybe for people like that 
message me on Facebook or Instagram and say, hey, can you pray for me? And I can write their prayer down and I can pray for them, but I don't need to maybe write like a whole page for them. And then church, and then just says war room prayers for church. And I'm just gonna write prayers for the world. I did show this the other day, but I broke mine up and I really like the way this is working. So I've got news. So just anything that happens in the news, the presidency, um, things that go on in the world, and then even just Arizona, Glendale, the city I live in, and my neighborhood. Like what? how can I pray for my neighborhood specifically? And then just other stuff I got. Um, a lot of these like words, these are just going to be random, like war room prayers. I don't need to write like, what am I praying for October? And, but you could absolutely if you want to, but for me, I'm just doing, these are a bunch of prayer, like verses and stuff about words. These are a bunch of verses about anxiety. Um, we got your battle is yours. If you've seen that, if you've done my prayer course, you probably know what that is, but, um, I have a bunch of prayers with verses and then I'm also doing, um, the months with that one so victory patience homeschool content all same concept um strong same thing i didn't print off salvation for myself but for salvation i think i'm going to do a um rainbow page one of the rainbow pages and i can just um, put people's names and then pray some specific prayers for them okay and then we have this praise confess ask be still section so this is more for daily prayers or just written out prayers like sometimes you just need to write out a prayer and get get everything out of your head kind of thing um so that's where i keep this let me show you the, the site is cute too um so and then i just have some like printables in here but like this was just a whole long form prayer and then i just keep these pages in there so i have a bunch of these and then i have some blank ones and this is just something i do as i i praise um which usually i go to this section and um, find an attribute of God. I confess, write out something I need to confess. I ask, and that's when I will kind of write out a few things from these other sections. And then um, be still is just being still, getting in the word. I usually you know, open up to a psalm and kind of read some verses. And then we have the um, who he is attributes of God section. And so this will have this page. Um, so for the journal, if you purchase the journal, I'll show you what you have. And then I'll just let you know that if you're part of the studio, you will get additional ones every single month. So in the studio is all this. So you get this, the names of God, you get, um, the original attributes of God page, which has like the attribute of God and a few verses. And then we have these pages that are on a specific thing. So this is on God being faithful, on God being holy, on God being a refuge. And again, I use these during this um, praise time um, but you will get all that and then if you are a member of the studio every single month you will also get an additional one of these and then um, that's it and then the gratitude section is actually from the other journal so um, you can always print that off and they just say gratitude very simple it says gratitude and I write down um, just the date and I just kind of write down some things I'm thankful for but that is um, the prayer journal. So again, the main thing, the main difference is the war room section. It's really based off the war room section rather than every month. So rather than organizing it by the month, you're organizing it by the topic or the person. And it's really just helped me kind of keep things organized. And um, I don't know, I just really like it. If it's a day, and I use this little guide, but if it's a day that I'm going to be praying for my marriage, I really like being able to come here and have like, all this stuff back here, you know, having the calendar and having maybe notes and um, war room prayers, but also just writing regular prayers. So that is how my new general setup is done. If you have any questions, feel free to comment or message me.